Hey everyone, welcome to your universe Z, the place where we talk all about the Dragon Ball universe. Today we are going to go through Goku finding out that his father is alive. And if you would like to see more Dragon Ball content, please leave your like and subscribe to join our universe Z. Dragon Ball is a story that always manages to surprise us, even if the arc itself is not as amazing as some classic from the past. Usually, when we talk about themes in this series, we can always quote arcs with seasons focused on big tournaments with a big danger surrounding the planets or some specific group of characters, or an external threat that comes to try to destroy the planet Earth like almost every other time in old That said, a point of narrative always very highlighted, but not always used in an intelligent way, is the factor of reviving characters could be used not only by the main characters and protagonists, but also by the villains themselves. Something like bringing characters back to life during an arc to create a great atmosphere of war and drama is quite common in stories and Dragon Ball could certainly do this if it wanted to. Even more interesting than this, however, is if some character that we were sure was dead, suddenly appears alive. But not because someone revived him, but because he was alive all this time, but we never found out. Bardock is a low-class Saiyan warrior, husband of Jin and father of Raditz and Goku. He makes his debut as the titular protagonist in the 1990 TV special Dragon Ball Z, Bardock, the father of Goku. Bardock's childhood through his early adulthood is unknown, but he is shown to lead his own squadron into battle, and they are very successful in accomplishing their mission. He is an adept fighter and a devoted soldier of the Saiyan army under the Frisia force until he realizes that his tyrannical boss plans to annihilate the Saiyan race. Bardock possesses personality traits typical of Saiyans. Unlike the typical Saiyan who doesn't care about his teammates, Bardock cares deeply about the members of his team, and becomes very angry after seeing them killed on planet meat. He is a bit pretentious, loves to fight, and kills in cold blood. He is laid back and not afraid of anything, like his son Goku, as evidenced by him and his teammates accepting missions that scare even Frieza's elite soldiers, and taking responsibility for confronting Frieza alone. He is a great strategist in battle, able to perceive the situation and act accordingly, as seen in his ability to defeat Frieza's men. Till he receives the life-changing gift of predicting the future from Akana Seno, before this Bardock didn't care at all about being a father, so he usually doesn't remember his new son Kakarado except when he is a topic of conversation in his platoon, and when he begins to experience visions of Kakarado as an adult. Bardock was famous for his bravery even among the Saiyans. He notably showed his bravery when he saw his impending doom. Instead of running for his life, he chose to stay and fight to the death. For so many times Goku's father, Bardock, was mentioned and seen during the Granola the Survivor arc, an important question comes to mind, was Dragon Ball Super really preparing fans for a full return of Bardock? Normally, that wouldn't even be something you might consider, but one of the most recent chapters introducing even more questions about Bardock's past and his potential strength in general, there are a lot of mysteries that are building up that seem to be made to be worth bringing the character back in full. And with a series like this, anything is on the table until it is fully confirmed by the manga or producers themselves. This is especially true when one of the most recent chapters in the series that shows Gas and Monado thinking about Gas' fight with Bardock in the past, but the series has yet to fill in the gaps of what exactly happened. This mystery is compounded by the fact that Monado was unconscious at the time, and there's no way for Gas to open up about it, so it's leaving a potential place for Bardock to fully return to the series. That's only a question if the manga decides to pull the trigger on such a crazy idea. The Granola the Survivor arc has been filling in some elements of the Saiyan's past, as it was tied to the death of the Serialians and the orchestration of everything by the Heaters. Three races have shown some important similarities to each other, and have become so distinct that the Saiyan past has become more important than ever. This arc starting from a small tie to the Galactic Patrol prisoner events before, thanks to the quickly dropped Og, 73 connection, these small Saiyan ties about the past may be the thread the series picks up with the next arc. This is something that a full return of Bardock could come up with, but that remains to be seen. All of these issues could also be resolved with a flashback from Gas' perspective, as we eventually get the full scope of the fight. With a series like Dragon Ball, no character really stays dead unless there is no real use for them in the story anymore. Even dead characters show up from time to time, and that's how we are with Bardock currently. Speaking of which, Frieza is still floating around and a reunion with Bardock would be pretty crazy to see. Dragon Ball Super, whether in the manga or the anime, leaves room for anything to happen. When you think about and consider that a next Dragon Ball anime is coming out, whether or not it can adapt the content of the manga, one of the biggest possibilities is that we just have a completely new story arc in the anime. And that could allow creative freedom on the part of the scriptwriters, bringing in something much more classic than we have seen so far in the most recent story arcs. Only with the new deaths and transformations that we always love to see, with epic fights and striking scenes, but mainly with the return of characters that we have long wanted to see in action again. And one of them could be Bardock, Goku's father. But how would this be possible? There are a few possibilities for this to happen. The first and most difficult of all is that Bardock survived. It would be really strange to see that he managed to escape somehow, or maybe someone rescued him on purpose, 
hoping to have him by their side as an ally. Usually, when this happens, it's a villain who saves a character, so this could possibly be the case. However, this could end Bardock's entire trajectory as a character in the classic, until then. Keeping him as alive after so long only to suddenly reveal him could be odd to say the least. One of the most obvious possibilities would also be that someone revived Bardock with some grand purpose in mind. This could be so that they could control him for revenge or convince him to restore his planet before it was destroyed. Another possibility would be something a little deeper, sort of creating a journey through time, allowing the characters to go back into the past and try to do something there that would bring them into direct contact with those who are gone, something quite similar to what was one of the arcs in the Burrito anime, where they went back into the past for a certain reason and purpose, but obviously not to change it in any way. This could bring about an arc that is not only nostalgic and dangerous, but also equally remarkable if well written and crafted. Of all those we have ever seen in Shounen's, it could be incredibly striking. Everything would depend on the scriptwriters to make it possible. And, as we have seen a few times, they really know what they are doing when they go out of their way to put in references and scenes that chill us to the core. That way, we could rely almost completely on their abilities to get Bardock back into action again, regardless of how this was constructed or what kind of arc we had at our disposal. Possibly something like the Goku of the present seeing his father in the past, even though Bardock doesn't know he's his son but feels respect for the person he is by the end of the story, would be quite fun and even exciting to see, don't you think? Goku meeting his parents again not only in one of the games, but also in the anime, could be a great milestone. Can you imagine? Instead of having Bardock facing Goku in an arc a little too dramatic, reusing formulas from other anime, we would have an arc also a little too cliché, but perhaps more interesting, exploring the original planet of the protagonist with unique interactions between the characters. Moreover, epic fights could happen, transformations never seen before being revealed, Goku and Bardock fighting side by side and combining blows, all this on a very well animated big screen just like the Dragon Ball Super anime. It would be simply chilling, wouldn't it? It would be a simpler way to apply the character, and moreover, it would allow a huge tab of possibilities for us to see Goku's reaction with his family, seeing what his planet was like originally, and slowly getting closer to his father, even though Bardock was going to die anyway in the end. However, the journey would certainly be worth it. But what about you? Would you like Bardock to still be alive, or maybe appearing in some new Dragon Ball arc? Leave your opinion in the comments. That's it. I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you have any suggestions for videos don't forget to comment here below, because I'll be reading all of them as I always do. Also don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content from your universe Z.